Okay, this is just a quick video on how to uh, disassemble Thermos 32 ounce um, Nissan Thermos vacuum stainless steel model. Uh, see if you can see that. If not, I'll put this in the. Uh, just a quick shot of the um, model number, but I'll also put that on the uh, down in the information. Uh, you can still buy this thermos on Amazon for 50 bucks. We've had it. We bought this in 2011. Uh, we really like it. It keeps uh, coffee hot. We put in our coffee in here. But we noticed it started to... Uh, here recently we started to see real dark, uh, nasty looking drips of... Uh, look like uh, you know, coffee, real dark coffee that was leaking out from uh, inside of here. And I, to be honest, I wasn't sure how to take this apart. Because I figured copy was, um, I'll take the lid off here. There's a seal inside of here. Very, right where the stainless meets the lid, there's a rubber seal. But I didn't know how to take this top off. But uh, it was pretty gross, that black, nasty, copy that was getting trapped in here so um, I didn't know if it unscrewed or how it came off so I, what I did was I said well if I can't get it off I'll boil it and maybe get the chunky goop to drain out and so anyway I put the top I put this upside down into a pot of boiling water and after I did that this became somewhat pliable and then I realized uh, uh, I started messing with it. I tried to unscrew it. It wouldn't unscrew. So I popped it off. And it came off. And that's how I learned how to take this apart. At the time, I couldn't find anything on YouTube about it. But anyway, you'll see uh, what the top looks like. It has, uh, it actually has some keys here, one on this side. And one on the other side which matches a key uh, on this section you can see that the tip of my finger is a little key there so this has a ridge it does not screw on there's a little plastic ridge that goes along the outside except where the uh, key part goes in and then uh, if you saw it or not there's a seal that was in here. So I've already taken this apart and cleaned it. But, um, so it comes apart, so I took it apart and cleaned it. Uh, all that nasty stuff came out. Um, don't know why, how it got in there. So we're just planning on cleaning this once so every so often when we start noticing that nasty drip. Anybody knows uh, what the fix is, maybe it needs a new seal. Um, probably have to call Thermos. I looked for the part, couldn't find it. So that's what it looks like from the side. You can see the key, and you can either turn, you know, it fits down inside a little ridge in there. You can see that in there? Just the flat side goes down. Uh, but I decided to put it back together. When I put it back together, I'm just going to put the rubber seal on first. It's probably six and one half a dozen of the other. But um, put that back on, and then this just only goes one way because it's keyed. So you can, you can turn it. You can put it on there and just turn it until you feel it click down into the key position. And then might be easier on your hands to flip this over push on the bottom. I got a rubberized mat here so it's probably not going to go on as easy but I'll just go ahead and put it on this way. I had to put quite a bit of pressure on that to get it to the seat but now it's seated again and like I said I don't know why it leaked. This The rubber seal still uh, the rubber seal still felt rubbery pliable maybe uh, just after time uh, crud gets in there because uh, it is you have very hot 
So maybe uh, just taking it apart and cleaning it ever so often will uh, prevent that from happening. But at least now you know how to get this apart. Oh, I forgot to show this is also known as the, or maybe I did show that, the Thermax. We still sell this on Amazon for $50. And we, this is, we love it. It's, uh, keeps things really hot uh, for a long time. So once we make coffee, it keeps uh, the coffee much hotter than the most coffee crafts, all the coffee crafts, vacuum sealed uh, thermos coffee crafts we've used on any coffee maker. This outperforms those, no, no contest. So highly recommend this. This is the first time we had this problem with the leak around here. And um, wasn't trying to take it apart and couldn't find anything on YouTube, so that's why I made this video.